Hi all. So 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 if you follow my YouTube channel and my Twitter, you will see that I get a lot of downvotes. For example, just published this video warning for an eighty percent crypto correction that I think is probable. Um, and I say always uh, that it is possible it doesn't happen. And like everybody knows I'm talking probabilities and it's just a personal estimate. But I get like half of the people that watch this video and that bother to click the like button, choose to click the dislike button. Uh, the video before I I, I, I I made also half the people click the dislike button where, where I say Tesla is probably going to go up and crypto probably go, going to go down. If you if you if you look at the comments, it's the same story. A lot of bullshit comments say eh? like uh, you're wrong, you're wrong, your track record is bad. All kind of stu stupid stuff. People saying, laughing with me, mocking me. It's uh, if, uh, like maybe one in five is a, is a nice comment or so. But this is not the first time I actually notice that when that happens, actually I, I turn out to be right. Um, uh, for example. Um, here, uh, not so long ago, uh, at Christmas last year, I said Merry BCH, and I'm saying here, hey, uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash is only $100. It just went down a lot. It's really the, a beautiful Christmas gift to buy Bitcoin Cash. Mm -hmm. Half of the people downvoted. Uh, it was below 100 It was $90 or so. Huh? Um, your passion for BCH will destroy you, blah, blah, blah. It's all kind of comments like that. Huh? Uh, like some comments are, are positive and happy Christmas, but when it's about like Bitcoin Cash and my recommendation to buy it, uh, many, many bad uh, downvotes. Actually, there was an amazing call and people also love to mispresent my track record, eh, saying that I was bearish around the low of 3000. Well, actually, no, I recommend people to buy. Eh? Um, I say things like uh, when actually almost everybody is bearish. I'm saying things like actually you should go to a majority crypto exposure here. Eh? Things like that. So so if you study my track record, uh, which requires work, you will discover that uh, it is very good. Mm -hmm. um, here at the top of 2017, December 28, when Bitcoin is peaking out at 20,000 US dollars, at 17,000 US dollars, something like that, I make a video that 2018 will probably be very bad. Half of the people downvoted. It was a great call. Um, and also, like, read the comments. Huh? Um, it's just the rejection of my opinion that I'm wrong because of this and that. Huh? It's the same story today. So, um, we're here in March 2018, where I predict that the bear market will last a lot longer. Um, uh, half, oh no, one third uh, downvotes it. Um, when most people think, oh, okay, we saw a serious correction, but we're ready for another leg up here, early 2018. Um, and there are many more. I just picked these with, with a few clicks from my from my channel. This is just from the last year and a half. That's from 2017, uh, 18. Uh, 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 there are many more videos. I go back five years. I started publishing in 2013. Also, my exposure. Uh, to crypto has always been on the high side. Um, um, uh, I've never been like, people like to say that I'm overly bearish and that I'm always a bear and that's not true. Uh, uh, during the bull market of 2016, I was um, warning people not to sell anything. It will go a lot higher uh, when it started going up and we breached thousand US dollars again for the first time, Bitcoin. Well, yeah, you can you can find all that information back. I'm just saying that because if you watch my videos, if you're quite a newcomer and and, and you're 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 looking at the, how, how many people don't like my videos and at the comments, you might get the impression like mm, this guy. Uh, I'm not so sure about this guy. So do your homework, huh? and you will get a better perspective on on um yeah on my track record. Now. Uh, let's dig into the case I'll, uh, I'm making here. And Crypto Media, is, you should really start following him. It's a small uh, crypto account, a uh, Twitter account, but he, he makes great, uh, does great work on, on analyzing this uh, rally uh, that we just saw in crypto. And many think the bull market has started, but actually it's very, very likely uh, the best time you can have to correct your mistakes if you have crypto. Um, mm, 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 and you, there are certain positions you want to sell. Well, now is the time and probably the last time you can do it before we start another 
serious leg down and uh, where you're gonna get stuck for many years in these positions hmm? so uh, but but why eh? like People are loading up today. They think alt season is going to start. The bull market has started. That's why you can sell it today because people are loading up, but they are misguided because um, uh, this is not like the breakout, for example, here because of volume. Uh, uh, he just updated this with the latest information. You can see that volume has picked up a lot because the last one I shared from Crypto Majors was only um, these volume bars, these two, but there is a new volume bar here. That's a lot higher, and then another volume buyer lower and lower. Um, but but it's still the same story, uh, as you can see. Um, compared to the bull market, you have to compare to the bull market. The volume is a lot lower here than here or here. Um, so it's still not looking good because in previous breakout, for example, typically the volume is a lot higher than the volume during the bull market. So we're not there yet, even with the latest information. Um, but what what could this be if it's not a, a successful breakout hmm? uh, is it just a will it be a failed breakout like we saw here and here two failed breakouts meaning we the bottom is indeed in but we will just test it a couple more times hmm? or uh is this something else is this uh I, is this just a, a temporary rebound uh, and uh, similar like here in the middle of 2014. And after that, we will make another big correction. And it really looks like that. If you look at the NVTS, uh, it, it does not look like we are here. Um, it really looks like we are here. Why? I already did that in the video of uh, two days ago, so check that other video, uh, the NVTS analysis. Uh, let me just uh, take it. This one here, Tesla up crypto down, has the NVTS analysis where you can see that it's likely uh, that we will see a 70 to 80% correction here. But very interesting is that it also shows on the volume analysis. So uh, let's take a look at the uh, volume. Well, this is what he discovered. Hmm. Let's take a look here. So it says a volume uh, suggests that, that there was not much selling during this bear market. The bottom capitulation in particular should be the highest volume before reversal. However, we haven't seen anything like that. This further confirms that we could be experiencing a very powerful rebound. I've showed this also in, in the previous videos. This is the volume on the capitulation from 6 to 3K, but we can see that it's 24% lower than the all-time high volume here when you have the first big sell-off, you remember, from 20k to down to 6k and then back up to 12k. Massive volume here, but um, it was not the, it was much higher than the volume we saw here. Uh, this is 24% less. But let's look at the previous capitulation here. This capitulation in 2014. Uh, 2014 bear market, 2015 January, we see the bottom. But that volume, you can see, is higher than the volume on the uh, first sell-off. 5% higher. Huh? But let's look at the other volumes. Now, now uh, let me say that, okay, you could say that's not a strong argument, like was, was, there's not so much difference here. But there are so many other indicators that also point towards uh, this not being the low. It's not just about volume. It's also about cycles becoming longer. So after one year bear market already seeing the bottom, similarly to the previous cycle is very unlikely because the cycle did become longer. We are in much higher market cap. The bull market was much longer than the previous bull market. So. That's another uh, indicator, but there were other indicators. I was I was well awake when we were making this 3,150 bottom and wondering myself, are we at the low? I did a poll at the time um, when we were at 3,200, 3,300. Uh, uh, will the bull market uh, continue or do we go up from here? 
uh, sorry, bear market, do we go down or up? 70% said down, which was for me another indicator that we didn't reach the bottom because we're at the bottom, 90% will say that we continue to go down, not 70%. But okay, maybe my audience is um, smarter than the average, probably. Um, but yeah, um, let's look at um, what, what, what the crypto medius discovered with this kind of volume. Well, he discovered that if you look at um, this kind of rebound here, you also see that the sell off here into before the rebound was 62% uh, lower than the all time high. And the one before here was 25% lower, the volume, than the all time high. He discovered this has been the same here. So you had basically a combination of these two, one, two, one, two. Uh, the first one being a volume relatively high, but still 24% lower than the all time high, similar to this one. This first sell off was 25% lower in volume than this one. And then the last one, when the bottom was actually reached at a very low volume, that's so, so, so weird. Another indicator that that was not the bottom, also the way the bottom was formed, it was not V-shaped. It was a couple of days that it was hanging around that price on low volume. Here is the evidence of the low volume. Um, that was when the bottom was actually in. Uh, but the volume was 68% lower than the all-time high. And here also uh, before uh, that, 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 that candle here, uh, right before the rebound was 62% lower than the all-time high here. This is interesting, uh, very interesting, because I also strongly suspect we are here. That doesn't mean that the bear market is uh, will take much longer. If we're halfway, that means we're halfway in price correction, not in time correction, I personally think. I think it will go fast, like it can go very fast here, and we can see the all-time low very quickly. Um, because the way this market corrected was at a faster pace in percentage losses than during this bear market. Even though the bull market went up a lot more here and here the bull market went up a lot less, percentage losses was higher here in the amount of time than here. So uh, um, that's why I think uh, even though the market cap is much higher, we may see indeed, like we saw here from 6 to 3K, a massive collapse. Huh? Um, we may see something very, very similar here uh, to when the new bottom is created and the final bottom is created. Uh, it may go uh, fast. Uh, that does not have to take half a year. Um, voila, that was it. Yeah, this is important. Also updated my uh, targets here to uh, reach uh, i added one more i had only two uh, but um I i'm gonna pr add, add one more here uh, so meaning I'm, I'm going to buy in three steps not two uh, for crypto because um just increasing my chances to buy back the bitcoin cash that i sold uh, i sold half my position i really hope to buy that back um and and um and, and just because I did lower these prices, um, it does uh, uh, reduces my chance to buy back. So I added another one um, and it can be helpful for you guys because some people also are more urgent to buy crypto than uh, me. I'm already 50% exposed. Um, but uh, I think this is like 80% chance to be uh, achieved. Um, uh, and that's basically a new high in undervaluation. Uh, if you follow my work, uh, we reached minus 50% undervaluation on the Trololo chart. And I think that uh, it's very likely, even if the bull market has started, that you reach that again and it will go even up over time during the sideways movement. So I'm pretty confident, 80% confident that we will see uh, minus 53% undervaluation compared to the trend line, but this will change and go up over time. So we don't know when that is, but very likely this will happen again, I think. 
Of course, there is a 20% chance it's not, and we go into a strong bull market from here, and we skip the sideways movement that we've seen in previous, uh, both previous uh, uh, bear markets of 2011 and 2013. I uh, had a sideways movement. We might skip that and, and not see it this time, of course. There's always a small chance, so that's why it's only 80% chance, but that's high enough, I think. And, and so if we reach that soon, we, these are the prices. Uh, I plan to set my buy orders. Um, and so this is pretty constant. I think, um, uh, sorry, no, this uh, at uh, my target is to be majority exposed at the safe margin of minus 35% under valuation. We, we passed that, we went to minus 50% under valuation, but now we're back at uh, actually 3% uh, over valuation we're now. Um, but I think we will go back to here. Uh, but so, since my target is 51% exposure at this undervaluation and 80% exposure at 80% undervaluation, from that is deducted that I want to be 36% exposed at this undervaluation when I when that's first happening, or when that's happening, yeah, for the first time, uh, this high undervaluation, I will go to this. So that means that let's say I have 100,000 uh, to invest. Currently, I'm 51%, so I'm in, in crypto, 51K. But if it drops to these prices, I will go to, uh, it will only be 22K, this crypto. Um, no, sorry, it will only be 21K, yeah? And then I, I want to raise my exposure to 36%. That's 30%, so I, I, will, I will buy double my crypto exposure at that price. And so that means in my case, I uh, Bitcoin cash, I have 100 coins, I will buy another 100 coins, I have 200 coins. If it drops more, $233, then I will buy, I, I want to see my exposure raised to 70%, but it will drop from 63 to 53%. Uh, and so I will add another 17% and I will add another 70 coins. Um, and for Tesla, I just invested 15% of my portfolio here. But if indeed crypto goes down, my portfolio will be cut in half by the time we reach these prices. Now it's worth 100K, but it will be worth only 55K. So today I invested like about 15K into um, Tesla. Why 15K? I do have like 50K cash right now, but like I don't like uh, buying selling too much so I buy the amount that um, I can um, I don't have to liquidate even if we reach these prices uh, I will still have that in fiat to buy this last position but and and I can keep my Tesla position here it's only when we go to these prices uh, that I will have to cut back my Tesla position by uh, three threefold and uh, and then I will buy more crypto with that Voila, that was that. Anyway, thanks so much uh, for watching and I hope I can ask some help from you guys in the comment section and in the thum thumbing up of my videos, please. If you like my work, you enjoy it, please click the like button. If you see crap being posted in the comment section, please just, if you have some time, post some replies to it so that people that read the comment section get some decent information also there thanks so much uh, and share my work on twitter or facebook i would really appreciate that i really value that thank you so much have a great day